I had the privilege of meeting Monica Esparza at the 2011 Guild of American Luthiers Convention in Tacoma, Washington. Monica builds classical guitars in the traditional Spanish method. She is one of the lucky few that studied with renowned builder Jose Romanillos when he offered his guitar building course in Spain. She did this three years in a row and later returned to participate in a course with Mr. Romanillos on vuela construction. Monica accepted my offer to answer a few questions about her experience in Spain and offer some insight into her building technique. I'm here at the 2011 Guild of American Luthiers Convention and I happen to run into Monica Esparza, famous luthier now that she has uh, come out in the American Luthier Magazine. There's a nice article about her in there and she's graciously accepted my offer to answer a few questions for us. So the first question, uh, Monica, how did you get into Luthier? I used to live up in the Bay Area in San Francisco area and I used to play guitar. I used to study classical guitar and I always, um, as a hobby, did woodwork. I uh, furniture turned pens and bowls and things. And I, was, was, I always was involved with hand tools and, and wood and played guitar. Then I moved back um, to Southern California and was intrigued by wanting to build the instrument and uh, venture on into it. And uh, I just started doing a lot of research as to where I can go. And I found a uh, acoustic guitar building course in uh, Orange Coast College in Costa Mesa, California. And I built my first flamenco guitar there, but I built it um, in a way that I really realized it was not the traditional Spanish way, which is really what I wanted to do. And that kind of was the groundbreaking point that I was introduced to guitar making. So the first guitar was a flamenco? Yes, my first guitar was a flamenco. Great, which leads me to my next question. What kind of instruments do you build? I build Spanish guitars. And so it's uh, in, in that realm is the classical and the, what we know the flamenco guitar. Okay. And when you say Spanish guitars, you studied with Romanitos. Yes, Romanitos. Uh, so it is the traditional yes. Spanish method. And my next question is sources of inspiration. Uh, who influenced you? And I imagine you would right off the top of your head and say Romanitos. Yes, uh, Romanillos and all the old uh, styles of guitars, the Hausers, the Santos Hernandez, all the different um, old historical Spanish guitars, uh, the guitars that, ha uh, that were played by Segovia. Um, searching that old Spanish warm musical tone is what I want. Do you play the instruments that you build? Yes, I do. Okay, and as a builder, do you think it is important for the builder to know how to play the instrument he's building? At this point, I, I realize it's a, it's a huge difference. My excuse was always, well, you know, um, I, used to, I used to play the instrument before I built it. And um, once I started building, the time got away, I stopped playing. And for many years, so about five years, I stopped playing. And that's when I realized that to get to know the instrument better, I had to pick it up again and play. So, yes, today I still... And how has studying with Romanidis influenced your building and your development as a, as a luthier? Oh, it, it's been huge because my whole um, uh, aspiration was to somehow go to the source um, of how old school building was done. And when I found the opportunity to study with Jose Romanillos, um, I realized that I was going to get the authentic training and that's really where, where I realized that I was getting uh, taught or fed the information the way I wanted to get it. Right. And you went there, what, three years in a row you went? I went there three years in a row, and just recently, about nine months ago, I went back, and that was to build the uh, replica of a vihuela that was found in a convent in Spain. And when you went back and did that, did you study directly with Romanese? Yes. So private? Because he's no longer giving his course, right? He's no longer giving his course. Right. They had found this vihuela in a, in a convent, and he had... Um, informed me at the time that they were going to do a, a small workshop and it was primarily just some local Spanish uh, people from there. And it was a small kind of little intimate project and um, it was just wonderful. I eventually ended up uh, finishing the instrument in his personal shop, uh, which was a, a great privilege. A great yeah. privilege, yes. Great. In Spain, I, I know a little bit about, about the Remedios course. He uses only hand tools or you used only hand tools while you were there. Do you yes. continue building your guitars strictly in that style, that method with only hand tools? Pretty much most of it, yes. Okay. Um, there's a lot of times where I will give in to a, a power tool, but that power tool somehow will still be assisted by a hand tool. Right. Okay, so you're not opposed to using hand tools to speed up the process? What single piece of advice can you give uh, or can you offer to aspiring listeners? 
Well, I think to get into building your, your first few instruments, I had that question asked here at the show. One of them uh, was ask a lot of questions. Meet a lot of makers, study a lot of instruments, um, find your true inspiration. What is it that you, you know, zero into what you really want to build? Because a lot of times I, I talk to people that want to get into it and say, I love guitars, but I don't know what I want to build. I knew what I wanted to build from day one. And so I just looked at a lot of guitars, studied a lot of guitars, asked a lot of questions to a lot of makers, and you can think about it and think about it, but the real, the real true challenge is don't think too much of it, don't overstudy it, and just start putting tools to wood and, and you know, start getting the feel for what it really is to, to, to build an instrument. All right, Monica, I'm going to throw out some topics here, and I just want you to choose one based on your first impression. So, V joint or scarf joint? V joint. V joint. Gut or nylon strings? Nylon. Soleta or external mold? Soleta. Soleta. Uh, power tools or hand tools? Hand tools. Okay. 650 or 640 scale? 650. 650. Hauser or Ramirez? Hauser. Okay. <laughs> Brazilian or Indian? Oh, Brazilian. Brazilian. Spanish cedar or mahogany? Spanish cedar. French polish or lacquer? French polish. Flamenco or classical? Classical. Okay. Uh, spruce or cedar? Spruce. Geared tuners or friction pegs? Uh, uh, geared tuners. <laughs> Voila or guitar? Guitar. Okay. Regular or decaf? Regular. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Monica. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. As you can see, Monica is very knowledgeable about traditional Spanish guitar making and very dedicated and passionate about her work. For more information about Monica, you can read about her in the summer 2011 issue of American Lou 3 magazine. Also be sure to check out her website to see what beautiful guitars she makes.